Super Bowl Super Bowl. So we all are hesitant about the next Indiana Jones movie. Indiana Jones movie based on uh, Crystal Skull uh, about seven or eight years ago. Now. Here's the thing. Uh, let, let, let me just put it this way. I am not a Crystal Skull fan at all. I'm a fan of the first three Indiana Jones movies. Don't get me wrong. Those three movies are dynamite. Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favorite, favorite, favorite movie of all time. Th that's just my favorite movie of all time. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. Now, that being said, Lucasfilm and uh, Bob Iger have come out and said that more Indiana Jones movies are being are planned out and being set forward for future installments post this fifth one. Okay, and he, he also said some stuff regarding rebooting and or sequelization or continuing story. I don't know what they're going to do here, personally. I per, I, for, the long, for a very long time, I was thinking that Indiana Jones would suit the James Bond treatment. But you just keep it, it it'd be hard. It, let me explain. So Indiana Jones is best when he's fighting the in the World War II era, you know, like the Nazis and, and um, I mean, don't, I, I love the Temple of Doom, but that, I mean, fighting the thuggies or whatever they were, not the best. Uh, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't, wasn't the best. Fighting the Russians made no sense, people. I, he just, it didn't make any sense to have him fight the Russians. But here's the thing. Another thing is, we got to keep in mind too. We don't know when the next movie is set. We don't know what it's going to be called. We don't know where it's going to be taking place. But having more planned, I think the James Bond treatment is probably the best idea for Indiana Jones. Because Here's why. Because if you just have the Indiana Jones franchise go on and on and on and on and on with different actors in the role, like every five, ten years, with, with every five to ten years with Indiana Jones, we get a new actor. So like after Harrison Ford in this fifth one, we could do Chris Pratt. I'm not saying I want that. I'm just saying this as a thought. So Chris Pratt is the new Indiana Jones after Harrison Ford. So then for the, for the next five, for the Santa Monica, like five, uh, three or four films. Then after those three or four, maybe five, you get a new up and coming actor that's really cool, uh, like or, or or big one at the time, like Bradley Cooper. Who knows? You know. And then you go on from there. Like you go like every few movies, every three or four movies, you change the actors. Like James Bond does very well. The one problem I see, though, is that James Bond update... Let's face it. The James Bond franchise has been the same franchise for over 50 years. But they update each era he's living in. And I feel like one of the cool things about Nina Jones is that he's fighting fighting Nazis. And I'm not... like uh, yeah. well, The Cold War thing felt weird. But you could rock the 60s if you wanted to with conspiracy theories and the JFK set. You know, a lot of stuff like that could happen. I just don't know how else... I mean, the, it's a very interesting... Situation they got that, or they could just say Crystal Skull never happened, and you know, Crystal Skull never happened. Next thing you know, hey, we're back to the World War Two era. Who knows? I mean, honestly, I would like to see like a 1920s film with Indiana Jones, with uh, like the Fate of Atlantis or the Staff of Kings. You know, there's a lot of Star uh, Star Wars. There's a lot of Indiana Jones e expanded universe type of stuff with books of Indiana Jones, and they're really great. Don't get, those Indiana Jones books are great. I actually read. The sorcerer, not the sorcerer stone. Um, the white witch and the something. Uh, white witch, philosopher stone. These are great novels, guys, and they are just other stories with Indiana Jones. So they could pull a cue from that. Fate of Atlantis is a popular one amongst the Indiana Jones community. Uh, I don't know, but look, hey, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. What do you guys think about the Indiana Jones situation? Do you want a James Bond type franchise type thing where they just switch out actors every, you know? three or four films, five years, you know, who knows? Uh, do you want another storyline that was pulled from the books or maybe a video game like The Staff of Kings was great? I played that for, on the Wii, I believe. Look, what do you guys think about this? Please leave all your Raiders and Indiana Jones thoughts in the, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But for all your Indiana Jones updates, keep it locked on the Superview Show. I'll see you later.